Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen tonight. Tonight we are making venison meatloaf burgers. Yeah, you heard that right. Meatloaf burgers out of deer meat. Awesome idea. Alright, tonight we are using about two pounds of deer meat. I've already put sprinkled a little bit of garlic powder, garlic powder in and a little bit of onion powder. We have one cut up orange bell pepper. We have three chopped up uh, button mushrooms and about four, three to four pieces of white bread crumbled up to hold as a combining agent to help hold everything together. All right guys, we've got some olive oil on our uh, griddle. Gonna cover it up, smear it in real good like we did the other night. Just for a little bit. Like that. And down. Okay. Cool deal, there we go. All right, we're gonna take our orange bell pepper, dump it in there. Get in there, y'all. All right, gonna sit that right back here. We're gonna take our mushrooms, pour them in too. And now for our bread. All right. And in case you ain't never made a meatloaf before, you mix by hand. Just all right. I've added in a dash of Worcestershire sauce. Give it a little bit of a smoky flavor. Mixing it up a little bit more, and it's almost completely ready to be patted out in the hamburger patties and thrown on the griddle. All right, I'm gonna patty out the meatloaf patties. Sorry, I'm um, have a hard time with really big hamburger patties. Getting them to stay together. There's that. Well, as you can see, I flipped the burgers. For some reason or other, using the deer meat is falling apart. Excuse me. Don't really know why, but it is. And I don't know what to say. This will be one of them cooking fail videos, I guess, y'all. It's the only thing I can think of. Because everybody knows it doesn't go right 100% of the time. Something... It's going to happen eventually. That sucks. <sighs> okay, some of them fell apart. I don't know if we didn't have it whenever we made the deer meat ourselves. I don't know if we didn't have enough fat in it or what. But it, it actually just kind of fell apart on me. Well, I'd like to thank y'all for watching. I know it didn't turn out exactly like I had planned, but they do have a good flavor. Actually, they have a really good flavor. Oh, yeah. That's real good. Thank you all for watching. We love you. You're awesome. And remember to live life to the fullest. You only get one chance at it. And just 
do some good for somebody without them knowing it. Like I said before, the the reaction you get is absolutely worth it. We love y'all. Bye. Hey right, guys, we're going to take us a bite of it. See how it is. Mmm. Mm. Oh, good flavor. Adding uh, Worcestershire sauce was a big help. Mm. Man, that is good, y'all. And it actually held together. Yay! <laughs> I wasn't sure at first, but like I said, this will be a cooking fail show. And you don't see too many of them on YouTube, so we love y'all. See you later.